Hey YouTube, it's Wild Orchids Events coming to you with another candy apple tutorial. After this tutorial, I'm only going to make one more candy apple tutorial and that's the requested one of the baby bottom apples. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I have my pot of three cups of sugar. I have my one cup of carol syrup. And if you all don't know what that is, if you watch my channel, then you know if not, it's this. Cairo light corn syrup, one cup. So we're gonna pour that in there. And you wanna get that out with your silicone spatula. The rest of it out of there. Give me one moment here. Okay. And I have my one cup of water. I'm gonna pour in there. Some people use half a cup. I'm going to use one cup because if I use one cup of caro syrup, I might as well use one cup of water. So I'm going to pour that in there. You're going to also need your apples with your sticks already prepped. You're going to need a pen, a parchment paper pen, and you want to spray that parchment paper pen with um, some um, spray. Spray of your choice. Me, I have Pam. Spray. It doesn't matter which which one you spray it with, as long as you spray the bottom of it and then put your um, apples on there. So that way, when you coat them, they don't stick to the paper. You also will need your candy thermometer. And the way you want to place this in your pot. Excuse everything everywhere. I'm kind of doing two things at once. You want to place this at an angle in your pot. You don't want to put it straight down to where it's burning at the bottom or touching the bottom of your pot. You want to also have a flavor ring, a flavor if you like. If you um, with red apples, it really doesn't matter what flavor you use. But if you're doing a um, white apple, you want to use a clear flavor. But in this case, we're not using white. We're doing red. So I'm going to be putting some red hots in there when the temperature get about 275 before it reach hard candy crack. So and sometimes I will add a little bit of white in there to get a more vibrant color of that particular color that I'm going for. So we're going to go ahead and stir this around. Then I'm going to place my stove between six and seven. Because I don't have a high, low, medium temperature. Also, I'm going to put in a little bit of my red icing color. If you can see that. You can purchase this from any one of your local Hobby Lobbies or Walmart, whatever uh, craft store of your choice. But I'm going to add that in at the end. Once you put this on, you do not want to stir it at all. Let it reach its temperature. And then put in your color and your flavor. And then wait till it starts bubbling down. Mix it around. And then start dipping your apples. So I'll be back when this reaches about midpoint. When I get ready to put in the candy mixture. So stay tuned. All right. So it looks like my candy thermometer is at 275. So I'm going to add my red candy to it. So I added my red candy in there. I'm just mixing it around some. And I took it off the heat. So now I'm going to put it back on the heat. Until it reached 300. Okay. All right, stay tuned. Look at that candy bubbling, and it smells awesome. Almost to 300 degrees, and then we're gonna take it off the heat. All right, our candy has reached its levels. We're gonna let that cool down some, get the bubbles out, and then we're gonna start dipping the apples. Get my stick out of here.
and I didn't add any flavor or anything because I think the red hots did it enough so I should get the red color I'm looking for so stay tuned I'm gonna let the bubbles get out of here and then we'll come back so we're dipping them. I, I was recording and I thought my camera was on and it wasn't. Sorry about that. So what I did was I went back and I added some red coloring to it because the first apple, it wasn't red enough for me. Off. Tap off the excess. Place it on your net. I'm gonna try to see if I can redip that first one. Look how pretty this red is. Very pretty. 